Boy, you don't hear that much anymore, do you? You know, honky-tonk music. Those words kind of, well, in today's country music, a lot of artists shy away from what I would call great honky-tonk music. One guy who didn't, whoo-hoo, Mel Street. I started in radio doing this crazy career back in the 1970s, and in the 1970s, something came along that they called cosmopolitan country. Country music wanted to expand, kind of get into the pop market, and they did. Uh, there went the honky-tonk singers, largely, but one of the great ones, the guy I was just playing, Mel Street. Yeah, back in the 70s, Mel Street, and the other guy I would put in there as well as a great, one of the final great honky-tonk singers, Gary Stewart. Boy, Mel Street, though, a great honky-tonk country music artist. You want to talk about some hardcore cheating? Mel could give that to you. Hardcore drinking country songs? Oh, Mel could do that, too. You remember Lovin' on Backstreets? Woo, doggies. 1974. What a great country star. My favorite, though, is the one I just was playing, Smoky Mountain Memories. Beautiful, beautiful song. A lot of people may not know that Mel Street, unfortunately, is the late great Mel Street. On his 43rd birthday, the 21st of October in 1978, Mel Street tragically took his own life. Now, there are several reports. Clinical depression is a phrase mentioned. Alcoholism, possibly. The one that I choose to believe and read the most about, it was loneliness. Being on the road and away from the family he loved and the friends that he loved. Mel Street took his own life, 1978, at the age of 43. Whatever reason it was, there's never a good reason for suicide. We lost a great artist, but here at KXRB, we still play those great Mel Street honky-tonk classics.